What's up everybody, my name is Just Jared and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. I was having trouble sleeping because I have No Man's Sky on my mind 24-7, so I thought I'd get up and make a video for you guys. So here we go, we're going to be talking about the tour of five beautiful quote-unquote planets in one solar system in No Man's Sky that IGN did a couple days ago. Now the reason why I say quote-unquote planets is because this video has Bellari 5 as one of the planets, and we all know from past videos, we have been shown that the solar system Bellari 5 is in only has two planets. So the five beautiful planets is a little misleading. There's two planets and three moons, there has to be if they're in one solar system, because we've seen that there's only two, two actual planets in the solar system Bellari 5 is in. Now. Getting straight to the video, we start out on a planet, or moon, nobody knows, called Luil. Now, we begin this this planet viewing, I guess, right next to like the structure. There's like a building slash structure here that we've never seen before. I'll try to brighten up the image so you guys can see it because it's a little dim. But there's like a ramp there and you got a whole structure. I'm not sure what that is, but there you go. We also see some cacti here for the first time wicked looking cactus plants so there's cactuses cacti in no man's sky so this planet Luil is barren rich in minerals um, just kind of like the the nine out of ten planets kind of scenario in no man's sky no, Sean says nine out of ten planets will be barren and here you go barren planet Luil now in this next image we see a wicked looking scorpion like crab creature which is probably my favorite creature besides the shark whale thing we see in other videos. In all the videos we've seen, all the gameplay we've seen, I love the scorpion looking thing. It's wicked. I don't know if I would approach it in game, but I would definitely take some snapshots of it. But too bad we're never going to find anything that looks like it because we've seen it here. Anyways, it looks awesome. Also, we have some large stones and rocks to mine minerals from on this barren planet, Luil. So that's about it, that sums it up, not much to talk about, it is barren, but it does look neat, there's a lot of dust and like particles in the air, which is really sweet. Anyway, moving on, next, no, this is a moon, this is moon, Yavil is a moon of Blurry 5, which Sean said in a previous IGN video. Um, it's a pretty beautiful planet, it's got like red trees, you see there, it's very vibrant. And now in this image here, we have this metal pod. Now we've seen this pod in other videos. I haven't talked about it much, but I'm gonna bring it up in a future video more so. Now this metal pod, as the player is walking around it, is making this real loud humming noise, which I'll let you guys hear right now. Now I'm not sure what this pod is. Nobody knows, it's like a machine type pod there's like a cargo box that's lighting up next to the ground there i don't know maybe it could be like in the middle of nowhere save points maybe it could be like an alien race artifact or machine maybe it's where the sentinels sleep i really have no idea nobody knows so there's my speculation yes yeah, sentinels sleep in those i'm pretty sure 100 percent 10 out of 10 anyways next moving on to this planet which ryan calls Isaloys is near the solar system sun, so its surface is quite toasty. He's got great pronunciation skills, I'm telling you that, because there is no way I would be able to understand this planet name, or moon name, whatever it is. I, it's, he's just, you know what, congr just give a pat on the back to Ryan at IGN, because man, his pronunciation skills are on point. Anyway, this planet slash moon is close to the sun. It's super hot, extreme heat, as you see down in the left-hand corner there, at clocking in at 751.5 degrees Celsius. So basically, he's losing his solar shield or heat shield, as you see there. It's pretty hot. It's 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 pretty hot. Now, the um, this is probably the prettiest planet. Like, if you like Yavil, it's bright and it's vibrant. But we've seen that before. We've seen I'm not before. I mean, kind of. Like we've seen the very vibrant colored trees and grass you know, the orange plants, stuff like that. I really like this planet, which I can't pronounce. Um, I think it's the prettiest planet I've seen, at least in this, definitely, in this five quote-unquote planet video. Um, it's definitely cool, just like, you can tell it looks hot. Like, you can tell it's hot there. All right, that's what's cool. Like, just on, like, Blurry 5, obviously, you can tell it's cold, 
but in this you can really tell that it's pretty hot it's you know the fog just the the I don't know it just seems like the colors of it just make it seem like it's you know unhealthily hot but uh, I love the plants here if you see the plants they look like leaves which are kind of wicked and in the background of this image you see a t-rex you got like a t-rex looking creepy creature in the background um, it looks kind of like a dinosaur I don't think I would approach that either um, it's definitely uh, definitely like a good shot of the uh, creature down there it doesn't really give us much of a look at it but it kind of just makes it makes it mysterious like you know what is that you know it's definitely freaky give it that much now when we go to this image here for you guys um you hear once it cuts like once it's when it starts out on this planet and it cuts a bit after the cut we get like a wicked strange like noise like it's not the humming that we get from the pod it's like more of a machine like a maybe like a factory moving because uh, in previous videos we've seen like the factory in Blurry 5 that Sean is approaching is actually moving like the, the pillars of it like it's actually working or um, creating um, some item right like a factory would do and it kind of sounds like that but I'll let you guys listen to it I'm not sure what it is it kind of sounds like it's behind the player but here's that So I'm not sure what that is, but I'm assuming it's a building. We we haven't really seen much building-wise except for, you know, the Corvax facilities. But anyways, next we have this machine, like, floating sphere. I don't know if he's, it's, I don't know what it is. It kind of resembles Wheatley from Portal 2. That's just, that's just my thing. I don't know, but I have no clue what that would be. It doesn't look like a Sentinel. It looks like Wheatley to me. The next planet we go to is a planet called Fleck which is a toxic rain planet, perfect name for this. Um, and we see a lot of green, there's a lot of green grossness going on. It's pretty, looks poisonous, definitely looks toxic, looks a little gassy. I don't like the look of the planet, like I mean I like the look because, I mean it looks good. I don't like, like I don't want to be on this planet is what I'm saying. If I, if this is my first planet when I start out No Man's Sky, I'm not gonna be happy, okay? That's just what I'm getting at. No, I'll be happy. I just don't like the look. You know what I'm saying? It looks creepy, and I don't want it. I don't want to have like poisonous air right in the beginning of the game. I'm getting so off topic. It just looks weird, okay? The creatures look weird. The mushrooms look a little weird. The first fungus everywhere. It just looks weird. All right, so we have this jumping creature that is shown right here. Can't really tell that it's jumping because it's just a screenshot, but it looks like kind of like a bunny rabbit. Not really sure. Maybe it's just because it jumps. Who knows? And then we have these blob creatures, which definitely look like they belong on this planet. And I hope they stay on this planet, because I never want to be on this planet. But they are interesting. We never knew that there would be blob-like creatures. I truthfully didn't even think of blob creatures, you know? I didn't think of these sluggish-looking things. I'm always thinking of creatures with, like, legs, like actual legs. Yeah, so that's pretty different, pretty different. Um, we got some gross-looking mushrooms in the background in this water, which is probably poisonous, toxic water. Um, yeah, just all around this planet just looks gross to me. It does. It really does. Um, next we have Bellari 5, which we know is a planet. You know how we know? Because we've seen this planet over and over and over. So hopefully you know about Bellari 5. If you don't, you're doing something wrong because there is so much footage of this planet. The only thing new we see on this planet, I'm not going to go through everything because we've seen Bellari 5 multiple times. The only thing new we see is when this ship drops in to the landing pad we see the wear and tear on the ship for the first time wear and tear is actually shown on ships which we know is a thing wear and tear you know the more you use your ship the more you use your ship you know the more battles it's in this and that just the longer longer you have it wear and tear actually shows up on your ship you can see here that the paint is kind of being scratched off you see gray where red used to be which is awesome i wanted to see that in like the actual game and the first time i watched this i didn't even notice it while i was watching on my phone so it was kind of hard but when i was you know examining it like i do before i make videos i noticed it it's super awesome you know i mean it doesn't make your ship look any better better but the the connection you share with the ship in the game you know having it for so long through all your journeys and then seeing the wear and tear on it is just an awesome idea whoever thought of that needs to pay a raise anyways guys that is it for me. I'll have more videos up, you know, 
in the coming days on IGN, trying to catch back up uh, to, you know, because there's going to be more. There's going to be more news, and I'm going to have to catch up on that. I'm trying to get out videos every day now. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to check out my last video, which will be in my outro. That was a channel update. Also, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for anything and everything No Man's Sky. But that does it for me. My name has been Just Jared, a.k.a. The No Man's Sky Guy, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Ha, peace out.